Aloha food lovers, I'm Tiffany and this is my vegan Aloha kitchen. Today we are turning this into the best vegan fried chicken. Jackfruit is loved by vegans because of its chewy texture and resemblance to pulled chicken and pork. These wings are packed with flavor and have a crispy outer shell with a secret ingredient to keep everything together. This recipe is a part of my vegan meat alternative series here on YouTube. Make sure you click the subscription box and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my new recipes. If you've been here before, give me an aloha in the comment box below and let's get started. For this recipe, you can either use canned jackfruit or a fresh jackfruit. If using fresh, oil a large knife and cut the jackfruit in half. Carefully remove the core of the jackfruit by cutting it at an angle. Pull each fruit out and remove its seed and outer coating. Make sure you save those seeds, they're wonderful when roasted. Set these pieces aside, you can eat them as is or use them in a smoothie. Next, take your knife and shave off the green jackfruit pieces from the fruit. This will be our chicken. Add the jackfruit pieces to a pot of broth and simmer over medium heat for about 10 minutes. We can make a replacement egg wash by combining one cup of plant-based milk with one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Mix this up and allow to blend for about five minutes. Next, whisk in the aquafaba and cornstarch and set aside. For the spiced flour blend, mix together flour and all spices. If you don't have all of these spices, don't worry. The most important flavor is the black pepper, thyme, garlic salt, and paprika. Now it's time to prepare our rice paper wraps. I'm making smaller popcorn chicken type wings for this recipe, so I'm gonna cut my rice paper into half. Allow the rice paper to soak up the water until it becomes soft and pliable. To assemble, fill the rice paper with jackfruit, fold over the tops, and then roll into a desired shape. Lay out the spice blend, buttermilk mixture, and breadcrumbs. Place each cutlet in the flour spice blend, then into the buttermilk mixture and planko crumbs. Dip into the flour blend one last time, making sure the piece is completely coated. To air fry, spray the air fryer with a bit of oil to prevent sticking. Make sure to leave room between these pieces in the air fryer. If it's too packed, the pieces will be less crispy. Cook at 370 degrees for a total of 15 minutes. I love using my air fryer for these recipes. It cuts out on so much of the oil and fat and creates these perfectly crispy pieces. I'll link the one I use in the description box below. If you don't have an air fryer, you can also deep fry this recipe by heating oil in a high-sided frying pan over medium heat. Fry the chicken pieces for about two to three minutes on each side or until completely golden brown. Look at the consistency of that. That is perfect.
If you're new here, welcome. I take a popular non-vegan items and transform them into plant-based goodies. If you want all of those recipes and more, click that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. As always, mahalo for watching, choose kindness, and I'll see you in the kitchen.